Well, hello, gang, and welcome back to Outer Wilds. Where... I don't know where to go now. I have no fucking clue where to go. Excuse my language. Um, I still, yeah. I'm down to these pretty much too. And the shelter site. I need to... F I don't really need to find the shelter site. I don't really need to find it, do I? We've also got Lake Bed Cave. Okay. Lake Bed Cave. At this point, I doubt there's anything there that is actually going to complete the gaps in my brain. I don't even know what the hell I'm looking for that would go make me go, Oh yeah! Oh yeah, that's... That's what I need to do. That's what the, that's what the warp cores are for. That's how you get inside Ember Twin here, or Ash Twin over there. That's how you find out where the eye is. Like, I have a question about the White Hole planet. I feel like there's a lot more to the White Hole planet than, um... I've been able to figure out yet, too. I've barely done anything with that place except die there a couple times. Got White Hole Station and Black Hole Station. Okay. I think I'm gonna speak to Chert one more time. If I can remember how to how to how to land. Whoops. I'm gonna say might might kind of be important if I don't want to suffocate to death. For crying out loud. Okay, I don't have anything. Uh, New I can get out of you, do I? Riding Sun Station, Hidden Planet. Nope. So, I need to find, actually... I don't have a clue if this will work. I've not tried it out yet. Um, find in map mode. Okay, I thought that there might have been a way I could have placed a marker on it, but no. I say, is it, is, do I have to go down here? I feel like I've been here before. Okay. Does this actually lead anywhere? Uh, I don't believe I've been down here. Oh, God. It was like a slip and slide. Okay, um... I don't want to waste any time. What the hell is that? It's a dead end. That's what that is. If I start getting lost, I'll drop my scout and try to use its location as a... marker of some type. There's the fucking ash already. Um... Okay, that was a good guess. There, whoa, what is that? Is that fossils or something scribbled? Shut up, Plump, go. You don't have all day. Um, like, like, how did the Nomai navigate any of this? Oh, fuck. Oh, come on. I can't actually jump out of it. Okay, I figured that that's... what that rock was there for. If I can land and... recharge my jetpack. Honestly, I am just not very good with a jetpack when it comes to gravity. Okay. Uh, I was going to say cactus. That's going to be a problem. That's going to be a real problem. Oh, God. It's quantum cactus. Okay. 
Uh, does that mean the rock is around? Oh, shit. I actually don't know what I want to lock into place. Here. Keep those two things busy for a moment. I hope that works. Um, how did... How did the Nomai navigate this place? What a clusterfuck. Okay. Jackpot! If you've come here to look for Coleus, this is where we were when he vanished. He's been missing for two days now. Your strange wandering rock friend is here, though Coleus isn't. Coleus and I observed this unusual looking rock shard and several smaller rocks in at least two other caverns. I'm unsure if this is relevant. We were examining the different rocks. I recall Coleus standing on the standing on the largest one, the Wandering Rock. Aha! I was right. I was taking notes, and then my lantern died. When I lit it again, Coleus and the rock were both gone. Yeah, this is. I figured that this would be. Okay. Um. So. My question is... Where is this going to take me? How curious! This rock took me with it to a new location. I wonder why this happened. Curious, but also alarming. This new cave appears to lack an entrance or exit. Also, the rock that brought me here disappeared while I wasn't watching. The Wandering Rock has returned. Never before have I been so delighted to see a sedimentary specimen. I wonder if I myself became quantum briefly when the rock carried me here. This seems the clearest explanation. Hypothesis. If the rock can bring me here, it can also carry me out. My hypothesis was correct. I can travel on this rock as long as I'm not observing my surroundings. Meaning I must be in complete darkness. I'm going to bring my mentor here to see this. Malore is here now, too. We theorize when a conscious being is in contact with a quantum object and ceases to act as an observer, explaining the need for darkness, the being can become entangled with that quantum object, and they move together. Friends, Coleus has discovered a new quantum rule. He has also promised me he'll never vanish again, even if he does learn something useful from it. Okay, so I kind of figured that out by intuition alone. The question is... Does it take me anywhere else? It should, right? There should be... i say this place. Ah, shit. Come on. Yeah, this place. Okay. That's actually... I... That, that... Yeah, I totally planned that. That was my expertise... in exploration... Finally coming through. So, let's see. Lakebed Cave is complete. A Nomai named Coleus was standing on the Wandering Rock when another Nomai's lantern died. When they relit the lantern, Coleus and the rock were both gone. To travel with a quantum object, I must stand on the object and cease to observe my surroundings, meaning I must be in complete darkness. Coleus used this quantum rule to escape the cave he was trapped in. Coleus and Malore returned to examine the rock. They theorized that when a conscious being is in contact with a quantum object and ceases to observe his or her surroundings, the being can become entangled with that quantum object, and they both move together. Okay. I don't know why physically touching the quantum object um, doesn't keep it locked in place. It's still being measured by a physical touch, kind of, right? Right? Shelter site... Do I really need to go down to the shelter site? I mean, I kind of want to complete everything anyways. Radio tower. I still wonder if there's something there that I'm not getting. I need to go back to the interloper. That's kind of exciting. I haven't been there for a very long time. Shelter site, Ash Twin Project. Uh, 
I like to go back through this screen here and make sure that I found everything. So, let's see, that was 10 minutes. I've got a little bit of time. It does make me wonder now, do I need to use, do I, do I need to find every single quantum stone and then teleport with it? I mean, back on Timber Hearth, they did say that the quantum stone there randomly wasn't on. One of the pillars, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, now it's like, now it's just time to go test some stuff. We've got that verified. We applied it to the tower. We've already been to the quantum moon ages ago. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. And I'm sure that there is actually more that I can do on the quantum moon. We'll go back there eventually. Uh, where is... Where is that forest at? Kind of hidden. I think it's that one. The quantum forest. With the pain in the ass geysers. Bonk. Okay, so... There it is. Well, I mean, I guess I can't really turn the lights out here, can I, Plump? I mean, you gotta be... You gotta... I can't just close my eyes, so what the fuck was I thinking? As long as I'm touching it, it doesn't move. Of course. Okay. I don't know what I was thinking. Apparently I wasn't. I don't think there's any more in dark caves. I mean, even the one on the pedestal isn't in a dark cave. Ah, shit. I forgot that this planet was going to have some fun waiting for me. Uh, we're, this is where we're going to end the video, probably. I don't really feel like... Uh, fixing my ship. And I do think that there is something on this... On this planet. Considering the fact this is where we land every time we come through the eye. Okay. I want you to take me to Ash Twin. Thank you. Thank you for cooperating with me. Okay. So my question then becomes, have I explored this place very much? I'm gonna say no. I do faintly remember the sand raising into the sky. So the question becomes, how do I get, if I even can, to the North Pole in this place? Sand is fall or ash is falling up. Does that mean time is running in reverse here? further north.
Please don't get sucked out. Okay. I really wanted to see what locations the tower would show up in. Like what if I activate this here? You've recalled the rule of quantum quantum imaging. You have to do that in order to land on the quantum moon. Now you need to recall the rule of quantum entanglement that we discovered in the cave, which is to be entangled by a quantum object or be on top of it, which... I'm assuming there's a floor underneath here, and we're wrapped up around it. Recall the rule of the sixth location. Like, again, the thing that's throwing me off is... the fact that I can power this on. Maybe it started on... turned on. I just never noticed it. Now, I'm coming here because I want to find the tower in a couple different locations. And... Just see where it can take me. As far as the Ash Twins are concerned. Oh, hey, some nice little rain. Come on, tower. I want to make sure it's a location that I've not been inside yet. Hence, A, the globe, and a ridiculous launch. So... I'm pretty sure we were at Ash Twin. Maybe not. Yeah, we were. This is still on the southern equator, so it doesn't particular. It's not going to be anything different. I need to find a way above this line. On Ash Twin. If it's even possible. What do you mean, emergency scout recall activated? Now, let's not go south. I want to know... Why can't I go to the northern part of Ash Twin on its quantum side? Like, we know this one won't go there, right? Okay, maybe it will. I actually can get to the north here. Well... I guess here's, here's my other question. Can... That's what I was looking for. Right here on the North Pole. See, I didn't think I could come to the North Pole on Ash Twin, because whenever I tried to cycle here before, it didn't really do anything. We're just going to go to the eye. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> Have I said that enough times in the last couple videos? All of my, all of my I stupid ideas are not working out. I'm not really interested in going back to Dark Bramble and trying to find the vessel, but I'm going to have to, I think, at this point. It is the last big question mark. on my list. 
I def I, I I have questions for you. I don't think I can ask him anything that I haven't asked yet. Uh, who are you? We're running out of time here, buddy. Yeah, what if I... If I go... I want to do Quantum Moon and then me. Because all I did was identify... Ask to identify and explain first. Does this work? It's like kick the wall. Oh my god, it does. Is this your first time on the Quantum Moon? It's my first time here. If you come here looking for answers, I hope you find them. I thought about this, but I didn't do it because I was running out of time, and I don't really have any better excuse for why I didn't come back sooner. I imagine you've noticed the quantum moon changes in appearance depending on which location it's currently orbiting. For instance, the moon looks quite different when orbiting Giant's Deep than it does when orbiting the Hourglass Twins. I have a wondered that. In fact, I think I asked that at the start of this video. Or previous one, maybe. Because the quantum moon clearly changes in its different forms, the eye, being this moon's primarily lo primary location, must be similarly malleable. From this, we can hypothesize that the eye represents extreme changeability. That said, despite its malleable nature, the quantum moon becomes locked to one specific version of itself when it is consciously observed. But what would happen if a conscious observer were to enter the eye? That's what I want to know. Okay. The eye represents extreme changeability. Probably why we can't find it. Uh, you in the quantum moon. I'm gonna run out of time here. Like many of the, my clan before me, I journeyed here to see the quantum moon's reflection of the eye. This is the closest any of us have come to seeing the eye itself. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that I may not entirely be alive. Perhaps my journey has reached its end. Yeah, you know, I've been kind of wondering that about myself, as a matter of fact. Um, so, that's that. I need to ask more about the eye. The I and me. Extreme changeability, huh? Suppose you could reach the eye of the universe. Would you try to enter it? What do you imagine the, effe the effects of a conscious observer might be? I don't know, probably the destruction of everything, I had to guess. Many in my clan have believed the eye called to us for a particular reason purpose. When I was a child, I used to believe the eye was malevolent. To have lured my clan to this star system only to vanish. Only to then vanish from them so completely. But I don't fear the eye anymore. In fact, it became my fondest hope to see the eye itself. Someday. But I fear this may be beyond my reach. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that I may not be entirely alive. Perhaps my journey has reached its end. Yup, so you and me. I don't think there's any more combos other than that. We do not have much connection, you and I. Still, this encounter feels special. I hope you won't mind if I think of you as a friend. I don't mind. You, me... Explain, identify. Hmm. I still have so many more questions. Like, what was you in the quantum moon again? Yep. So. There has to be more to this place than just... Him. Right? You know what? Since I'm here... Yeah, I'm gonna be fucked. I'm gonna end up dying here. Very shortly, but... I 
I know I've already done that. Every time it take it does take me back to this one. Why? Uh, why, why, why? Where is the rocket ship at? Come on, <laughs> you son of a bitch. Hmm. Is this its own little pocket that only has the tower? I would find that hard to believe. In that case... There it is. So... Yeah, that does nothing on the ground. That does nothing on the ground. Where the heck is this place? Brittle Hollow, of course. And the moon's getting, or the sun's getting ready to go. Quick, launch us. Um. Did you fail? What the hell is going on? <laughs> I think I'm getting lo Yeah, okay. We shoot right past it, I see. Goodbye, I'm leaving this place. There's the quantum tower. I guess if you wanted to explore it real easy. Just wait until it flips out and shoots out the other side there. Can't even see the sun. Just drop out. So, next video, we're gonna go back to Dark Bramble. I'm going to finish searching there and until we find the vessel. It, I, it has to be in there, right? see how it couldn't be just look at all the planets do their thing